you're watching the breakdown papira.com's weekly segment where we bring you everything that is rugby in sri lanka and uh, joining with me is shana kamal singh shanaka we had a very interesting uh, second week of schools rugby there was controversy whether whether it will go on or not but finally it did uh, how did you think it went well i thought it was a good weekend obviously the pressure wouldn't have been so good on the coaches and the teams also wondering whether the games are going to go ahead that's the kind of thing that they really can do without these players have prepared so long and so hard you don't want some administrative bungling shifting the tournament back by a week or two because that puts all the preparations off sudarshan so i hope that is behind us but uh, the first match of course was a team that was at the receiving end of some of that uh, administrative bungling and that was wesley who uh, played prince of wales and it was a game that was a good game uh, for them they won that 128 points to 10 uh, and uh, that was a, a decent enough uh, win for them given the fact that they had nine players out avish kali coming in and uh, be pretty much controlling that game from the base is a good player but he needs a little bit of support outside him as well but he didn't have uh, zubair with him he didn't have danish the captain so lots of those players suspended now after that fight i hope that issue is resolved but for wesley it's difficult times coach jivan gunitelaka has resigned so they need to really take a long hard look at their rugby and ask themselves what went wrong after a very good build up luckily for wesley uh, the ban has been revoked for some players except for the ones who went from the bench so that will be a good note for wesley but they did look like they weren't a settled side yes that uh, players being banned missing out on that game would have taken a big toll on them but prince of wales i really admired their courage when it comes to the tackles that they made they were in it until the last minute and although this team looked like they didn't have enough strength they had the technical knowledge so the coach had done a lot of work uh, well it's like it's like watching the sri lanka cricket team isn't it when you're watching a, a team like prince of wales you know watching a team like zahira their crowd just want to know sudarshan that you're in it until the end that you have that desire i don't think any of them are going to come out and expect to beat wesley they're not going to expect to beat trinity beat royal none of those things but they want to know that they competed hard and they didn't let in as many points as they could have so i think that's what prince of wales will be proud about in that performance against uh, wesley and something they will take with them to the next game uh, for prince of wales uh, a stand out player was primesh uh, who is the captain uh, for prince of wales he had pinpoint accuracy when it comes to his passing so that's going to be something uh, the selectors are going to keep an eye on moving on to the next game shanaka anthony is taking on dsn and ayaka anthony is had a hard break up in colombo but they managed to thump in 50 points uh, against the s well i think it still could be a more accurate performance i don't think viper gunnarath will be completely happy uh, with that performance even though they did manage to get a 54 points to 26 victory over uh, over ds ds are a team that is newly promoted anthony's have been building up a little bit and they will be disappointed that they conceded as many tries as they did they conceded four tries to darshan so i think viper is going to probably have to go back and fix his defense up because i think attacking wise they they are okay this side has some good attackers guys like denu kamara singh are very good attackers jehan silagama absolutely so really good uh, ball players in that side what they need to do is improve their organization and not squander opportunities but uh, shanaga mentioned uh, that ds managed to get four tries let's take a look at this try shanaga here the l- from the line out a mall is from by ds and there are no anthony players committing to that mall was that legal to let let go well, i'm i'm going to be a bit rude and correct you sudarshan because if nobody engages there's no mall so we can't really say a mall has formed so what happens here is the line out jumper takes it and comes down and he transfers it to the ripper what we call the ripper is the guy who comes in and rips you know this but the guy who comes in and rips the ball away from the the first ball carrier now unless there is a tackle or an engagement the guy who brought the mall uh, the ball down from the line out cannot transfer it to someone behind him because as soon as he transfers it to someone behind him he's in front of the ball and that's an obstruction it's accidental offside that's what the referee should have called we saw very clearly charlie brown calling that twice in the clifford cup final against shehan patirana and you you saw lema he he said to his uh, his you see said to his jumpers dan de papidi bastard you know and that's what he understands the rule but these referees that we have refereeing the school games i think they need to understand that rule as well otherwise we're going to head to a bit of controversy and tonians were up in arms against that decision but uh, they did keep their calm and um, clearly viper gunaratna's antics coming into play in this game that's the technical knowledge that he pumps into the antonians yeah he is i mean he's been a very probably one of the best technical coaches that we have in sri lanka he's a ed- coach educator as well so he knows what he's talking about uh, and if he has some time with the team 
I think that's what we're seeing the results of now. So uh, 54 points, Anthony's will be happy that they got 8 tries and 7 conversions, Samuel Madhuanta coming into play there again and uh, let's move on to the next game, Saturday, Science uh, hosting Trinity at Havelock Park and Trinity got their second 50, 50 score mark. Uh, yes, but I think they would have been expecting a little more, uh, Sudarshana, because uh, they, they ran up 64 points against a very good Wesley side and they were ex excellent on the day, I thought. But the performance against uh, Science College probably not reaching that same mark. Uh, so I think although Trinity won comfortably, they need to go home and say, were we a little bit complacent? Have we already won the season? Do we already think we're the best side? Are they doing enough work uh, at each breakdown? Are we putting in the same amount of effort we put in in the first game? That's just kind of questions they need to ask themselves it's nothing to do with the rugby it's nothing to do with their skills it's just about their application where they switched on as much as they would like to be the, that mental f factor is going to be very crucial for Trinity's chances this season because Shanaka Trinity started on a high note so it's going to be difficult to maintain that high note throughout this long season absolutely right uh, Sudarshan and that's why from the first game to the second game there is a little bit of a dip so they need to realize what they need to do to maintain that intensity right throughout the season because there's no point in starting off on a really good high and once you get to the tail end of uh, Trinity season, which is where the big matches happen, you don't want that intensity to have dropped. So you need the players to understand what it takes for them to stay week in, week out in the same place mentally. And that's going to be their real test. As for science, uh, they are a team in building. They are building up because they have leaked a lot of talent. And um, even their captain, Dananjay, can play another year as well. So come the next next few years, they will be uh, a team to watch out for. Absolutely. They've lost a lot of players and you can't discount that uh, for them because they've had some very talented players that they've been building up through their system who have all gone uh, to other schools. Some of them not even playing rugby, unfortunately, because of... Uh, uh, because of uh, administrative reasons but the fact is that they will need to continue to build and they're going to if if they don't win matches and if they don't get some good uh, funding into their into their setup they're going to keep leaking players uh, Sudarshan they're going to become uh, like the uh, like the I don't know the Borussia Dortmund of uh, of the Sri Lanka schools uh, rugby because everybody's going to pick their best players and take them for themselves so that's going to be something that they are going to have to manage and the other game uh, that happened on Saturday in Maradana, Sahira College taking on St. Thomas's. You were there. What a game that was. What an outstanding game of rugby, uh, Sudarshan. And that's what really warms my heart to see games like this. Because uh, Zahira came in with nothing to lose. They came in in front of their home crowd with just such great expectations, such great belief ab about themselves. St. Thomas is certainly not the side they were last year. They're missing quite a few. They're big boys up front, which made the difference uh, for them. But I was really happy to see how they played. Uh, I was wondering what that 57 points against uh, Science College is going to tell us, and the answer was not much. But they showed a lot of character to come through uh, this game. They squandered f maybe 20 points on, on the break. I think uh, Coach Laga and Asanga Rodrigo will need to go back, tear their hair out uh, after watching the video and say, what are you doing, guys, when you're outside the... Uh, when you're outside the uh, number 13 channel, what are you guys doing? Because they really need to bring that ball back into play, keep it alive and keep recycling it. But they scored some wonderful first phase tries. Uh, Zahira scored some first phase tries as well. Lamtra with probably the try of the game uh, as well. And he almost won it for, uh, for Zahira but stepped on the line. And it was just one of those games that had everything. It had passion, excitement, great spirit, I thought. And uh, I thought Zahira did really well with um, the ground control as well. Nobody ran onto the ground, even though there were no barricades or anything like that. So that was really good to see. And I thought the referee had an excellent game. I thought he had just one of the best games I've seen a referee have. There was one mistake which led to a try uh, for, uh, for St. Thomas's, but it was, a, it was a minor error. So I thought it was a superb game of rugby. So half time it was 12 points to two, 22. St. Thomas is in the lead, but come full time, Sahira 24, 29, and they were asking questions in the last minutes of the game as well. So that was that went down to the last minute. Yeah, it was great to see how easily both teams turned defense into attack. Uh, we saw St. Thomas is attacking in the last uh, maybe 15 minutes or so. Zaid Singh Hawansa just rips the ball off one of the Thomian ball carriers and has down 90 meters to the other end with nobody able to catch him. So that was what really turned the match alive. And uh, Zahira never stopped believing. They thought they could win. And that was really wonderful uh, to see. But for St. Thomas's, they'll need to tighten up their defense a little bit, especially their first phase defense. And once uh, CJ Delisle went off, I thought they had a few problems in, uh, in the pack. They had a few injuries which they're going to have to 
uh, deal with and if Delilah is out that's a huge blow for them. Well, let's uh, see the scorecard for this game. Uh, Zahira College 24 points, tries, two tries by Zaid Zingamansa, Irfan Ashar and uh, Yuzan Lantra getting a try, con two conversions by Zingamansa. For St. Thomas's we had uh, Hans Walpula, uh, Matangavira, Naveen Hinakankanam, Gay, Avish Kahandum Patrin and Christian Delail touching down and uh, Hans getting two conversions. So a close game on Saturday and a brilliant game of rugby where we uh, saw good running but coming on to Sunday, uh, Peters taking on Ro Royal, I thought that was a really, really scrappy and a messy game. Uh, yeah, seeing the game on Saturday and then seeing the game on Sunday, you saw the sublime and the ridiculous of uh, schools rugby. I thought St. Peters were just really profligate. They didn't catch anything. They didn't look like they wanted to catch the ball. They were throwing it around like a bar of soap. Uh, but uh, Royal's defense just absolutely outstanding again. And whatever anybody may say about Royal, uh, they really know how to close out games and they know how to win, they know how to frustrate the opposition, they know how to keep them out and defence is the best form of attack sometimes, um, uh, so it's a smash and grab kind of team that Royal have, Owen Askey was really good at the back I thought, uh, but this game was far from over even though Royal were leading uh, comfortably, you could see that they were, they were under pressure and they were really relieved to come away with that win and I think credit to them for coming away with it. St. Peter's uh, really need to improve with ball in hand, there's just no uh, no structure, they are still playing like sevens rugby, there's no, no, no willing phases and uh, that's something that they are going to have to work on. Three points to 17 was the story at half time, uh, but come full time it was 10-17, uh, Peter's getting a solitary tie in the second half. For Royal College, uh, who do you think was the standout player, especially making note that they had five players missing from their starting lineup against St. Joseph's? due to injury. Well, one guy that deserves a mention, Sudarshana, is Nikhil George who played at fullback against St. Joseph's, then goes into the open side flank. He's asked to jump in the line out. He does that. He makes tackles. He then plays number eight when uh, Lennox Kalyanaratna gets Sinbin. So, I thought he was outstanding. I thought Jani Dudilshan also had a very good game. He's, uh, he's playing that kind of Conrad Smith kind of role at number 13. He's big, he's strong and uh, he's the go-to guy in that uh, pack and he's also a good leader. So you can, uh, sorry, in the line and you can see that he's a good leader of uh, the backs for Royal and he's a big strength to Askey who then can worry about what goes on on the back and just just worry about that uh, alone. So I thought Kalyan Ratna George and also uh, Ritish Fernando in the uh, number four jersey, I thought he had an outstanding game uh, for Royal as well uh, along with those other guys. So Royal are looking like a team without stars but they're looking like a team. Definitely and uh, for St. Peter's I believe Steven Sivaraj playing in the fly off position, what are your thoughts on it? Well, I think if he's allowed to play Sudarshana, he will be better than he is now. At the moment, he's trying to do a little bit too much uh, but if he's allowed to use his boot, move, move players around, find spaces and if St. Peter's just improve their line out a little bit so that they can, they can make use of that a massive boot that he has, then that's something that will go in their favour. But at the moment, he's trying to run from his 22 and that's not the kind of uh, rugby that he's going to get Peters anywhere. And uh, take a look at this, uh, take a look at this video and this incident, gets a high kick, doesn't catch it cleanly the first time inside the 22, catches it the second time and calls Mark. Well, it's supposed to be a fair catch, uh, Sudarshan, you're rewarded for catching the ball full. And uh, that's not what happened there. So uh, I think Dinka Pieris may have uh, got that one a little not right. But uh, that's something that I think all schoolboys need to realize as well that they can't call a mark if they juggle it. So uh, this is for all you viewers who will be interested. Inside the 22, you need a clean catch to mark it because the next time you try to juggle it and call mark, you can get smashed by the opposition defense because the referee is not going to stop that. Uh, let's go on to the final game of the week, sixth Monday. Isipatana College taking on Joseph's in on a Monday evening, but uh, we had a packed CRNFC stadium. Yeah, I, I mean, I hate Monday evening games because I can't go for them, uh, Sudarshana, but what a game to miss, unfortunately. And uh, Isipatana, after trailing by 15 points, coming back and managing to win that game with uh, just a brilliant performance in the last 15 minutes or so, uh, these guys never stop running. And uh, that's, they always know that they have got support players and they know where to find them. And they're well drilled as well. I think Costa and uh, Bilal Hassan have done a really good job with these boys. They're not a, they're not a world-beating side. They probably don't have championship medal quite yet. But if they keep coming through a few games like this, who knows what we're looking at at the end of the season. Like you mentioned, Isipatana did come back after, have, after conceding a 15-point lead. But remember, St. Joseph's 
start of the game 17 points down 17 nil uh, the Isipathanians were leading and let us talk about the Isipathana college's first try it was a role it was a driving mode we have not seen Isipathana do that well to be much. to be fair under Anuranga Valpola they started doing that uh, Sudarshan it is not their weapon of choice but they actually did start doing that Omalkas here I think Senna Dilakas here and um, uh, maybe in even the year between the Kushan and Indunil's year, I have seen them score a few uh, driving mall tries and I am like wait is this Isipathana and uh, it is it's good to see them uh, getting that uh, getting that front row stuff going. I think it was Henry who probably brought that to uh, that culture to them and they realized that you know you cannot win matches with just backs you need forwards and I think they have got that now. So, it is good to see. Uh, Let us talk about the Josephians, the boys from Dali Road, second defeat in this season, they had title ambitions. How will this uh, work out for the Nilif Ibrahim and coaching co? Well, I was watching the Royal game uh, against St. Joseph's with my good friend Jayan Gunatilaka who writes for us on the papare.com and he said it's 15 boys playing 15 different games of rugby and that is uh, that's exactly what uh, I see from St. Joseph's. There is no cohesion uh, from them, there is no teamwork yet and maybe that will build, maybe it is early days yet for them in their season. So, they need to play together to understand each other a little bit more. Uh, but if that happens, I think they have got the ingredients of being a good side. But two players that definitely need a mention from this Josephian outfit, uh, Sven Muller, the hooker, and also Tehan Seneviratna. These two big boys, they were around the park throughout the game and they made some really good carries. Everybody talks about the Josephian backline, but their forwards are doing the hard work. Yes, their forwards are doing the work. The intensity was really high in their match against uh, Royal as well. They were really physical up front, and it is a shame they cannot finish off that good work. So, uh, half time, the score stood at 15 points to 17 in favour of Isipatana and a full time St. Joseph's 32 against Isipatana's 39. Papari.com's player of the match was Chamod Fernando who was playing in uh, the full back position for Isipatana. Let us uh, run through the points break breakdown for Jose uh, Gihan Pereira, Chatura Seneviratna touching down for a try, Shevon Gregory and Gamunu Chetia uh, with Chatura converting th three tries and uh, knocking on two penalties. But for Isipatana we had uh, Devin Gunaratna, Chamod Fernando with two tries. Uh, Chamendu with three tries, Randy Silva with a try and Harith Bandara only managed to convert two. So, seven tries, two conversions and the game came really close. So, Riza Mubarak has a lot of work to do. Yeah, he has a bit of work to do. A lot of teams have left uh, left points on the park even at the Zahira versus St. Thomas's game. We saw both kickers not converting as many tries as they could. So, that is something that uh, needs to improve in the school's rugby arena. So, there you go. That is the wrap up of the last week. and. Uh, that is it from us on The Breakdown. I am Sudarshan Apiris signing alongside Chana Kamar Singh for ThePapare.com, sharing the passion.